we are now going to find out is there any relation between a second and a tangent to a circle. Here is a second which intersect the circle at two points A and B. Consider a tangent PT which touches the circle at point T and intersects the second at point P. Measure the lengths of segments PA, PB and PT. Find out product PA into PB. Now find PT into PT that means PT square. Compare these two values. What do you observe? You observe that PA into PB is equal to PT square. Now let us verify it by changing the lengths of the segments cards and tangents. See the chord AB is moved. The lengths of the segments are changing but every time PA into PB is equal to PT square. Now let me change the point of intersection P. Observe all the segments are changing so their lengths are changing but we get every time PA into PB equal to PT square. Now circle is changed. This time also we get PA into PB is equal to PT square. So we can conclude that if PAB is a second to the circle intersecting the circle at points A and B and PT is a tangent to the circle at T then PA into PB is equal to PT square. Let us now find out is there any relation between a tangent and a chord drawn through the point of contact. Here we have got a tangent xy touching the circle at point P. Consider the arc PRQ. The segment formed by major arc PRQ with the chord PQ is said to be the alternate segment of angle QPY. So this segment is the alternate segment of this angle. Similarly, the segment formed by minor arc PSQ is said to be the alternate segment of angle QPX. We have major segment PRQ. Let me join point R with P and Q. We get angle PRQ. Let me measure angle PRQ and QPY. The angles in alternate segment. What do you observe here? See the two angles are equal. Angle PRQ is equal to angle QPY. Let me change the position of point Q. That means let me change the chord. Observe. Both the angles PRQ and QPY are changing but for each position of point Q we get angle PRQ equal to angle QPY. See every time the two angles are equal. Let us now consider minor arc PSQ and join PS and QS. See 
Here, the two angles which are in alternate segment have been shown here. Do you observe anything? Yes. In this case also, we get the two angles equal. Angles in alternate segments are equal. Now, again, let me change the chord. Change the point Q. So, the chord is changing. Look. Again, the measures of these angles which are in alternate segment are changing. But every time both the angles are equal. So, we can say that angle QSP is equal to angle QPX. We have considered both the cases major arc as well as minor arc and in both the cases we have found that angles in the alternate segments are equal. Hence, we can conclude that the angles formed in alternate segments by a chord through the point of contact of a tangent to a circle is equal to the angle between the chord and the tangent. Thank you.